So this is going to be a reading for my Cancers. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get straight into the reading. It's going to be for April 8th until the 9th. So if you're new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. If you want a personal, check out the description box. My website link will be posted in the description for you. And feel free to follow me on Instagram at Mystical Crystal Tarot or on Twitter at Mystical Crystal to see daily horoscopes. All right, cancer for April 8th through the 9th. So overall energy is the Queen of Cups. Current energy is the King of Wands. The challenge is the Sun card in reverse. Advice is the Four of Pentacles and outcome is the Nine of Swords. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about this. So first card we have is the Queen of Cups representing the overall energy. So of course, you guys are going to be the main focus during this time frame. Um, I think that you guys are going to be really tending to the things that you care about. Um, I also think that, hold on guys, because I'm trying to fix this. Um, emotional matters are going to be the main priority during this time frame. So this is like you trying to take care of your relationship issues. Um, if you're having any sort of marital issues, this is like you trying to express how you feel to your person at some time, at some point during this time frame. Um, and some of you could be just feeling like you want to express how you feel to someone, maybe find a confidant or somebody that you could talk to, to express how you've been feeling, especially if you feel like you've been being neglected in some sort of way. Um, also, your intuition will be in high gear. You may be picking up on things in terms of like, again, the way that your person may be moving or people around you may be moving. Um, and you may be letting your emotions kind of guide you during this time frame. Now, be careful of that. Don't let your emotions guide you to make, you know, rational decisions, but definitely. Um Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say. There also may be someone else around you who's a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio who may want to express how they feel to you um, during this time frame. And this could really be anyone, um, not limited to just the lover. Now, when it comes to the energy surrounding your current energy, we have the King of Wands. So you may be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, or just dealing with someone who may have like more of a fiery energy. They may be like charismatic or like really attractive. Um, this person and you, you know, may be sexually attracted to each other. This may be like someone who's like business oriented or, um, like a goal oriented action type of person. Okay. They may also give off very masculine energy, whether they're a female or a male. Okay. Um, so this could be someone around you who's of significance, or you guys could be displaying these same characteristics. You could be tapping into your creativity or tapping into um, your business more and being more focused on your set goals. Okay. Now, when it comes to what I see for the challenge, we do have the sun card here, okay? So the sun card usually in reverse is an interesting card. They usually say that in tarot, if I could fix this, they usually say in tarot, if the sun card's in reverse, it's not as bad because it's still the sun card because it's supposed to be a positive card. But it's a trick bag for me. But honestly, um, some of you, the challenge could be like you feeling helpless or like there's no hope. Or some of you may struggle through like seasonal depression or you go through depression because you're expecting things to like happen faster or, you know, you just go through depression in some sort of way. Hmm. 
Hmm, some of you, you could have a Leo in your life that could be negatively impacting you. The person you may have children with, you may not really want to be attached to them anymore because it may be a lot of drama connected to that. Some of you don't know necessarily how to get out of the depression that you may be going through. You may not know where it's stemming from. So this could also be a level of a challenge. Some of you are feeling unhappy because you and someone aren't together anymore or unhappy with your career. It's a multitude of things with this card. But the advice here with the Four of Pentacles is to make sure, for one, that you're not being closed off to new experiences and making sure that you're not being your barrier to new opportunities. Um, because, again, the main thing that keeps us from experiencing new is us being closed off to the new and being unwilling to try. So this is making sure you're not doing that. Also, when it comes to finances, finding ways to be more um, cost efficient or penny pension in the sense. This is like cutting back on some of your spending habits so that you can save more money or at least do more useful things with it. OK, so you don't feel like you you know are always constantly struggling, things like that. And with the nine of swords representing the outcome, this is you possibly going through a moment of anxiety or like stressing yourself the hell out with your own thoughts. So again, some of you need to really, you know, get out of isolation maybe because this could be creating an opportunity or ample space for you to be able to be in your mind as much. Um, this could also be you guys needing to... Um, Fix your sleep schedule, your eating habits. Really and truly, depression can stem from just the way that you eat and the way that you wake up in the morning and the way that you talk to yourself or the people you surround yourself with. So look closely at all of those things. Now, this last card, it says, I am financially secure. And it says, trust that all of your financial needs will be met. Prosperity is yours and life is plentiful with everything essential to, you, to fulfill your desires. Remain open and receptive to all financial opportunities that life has to offer. So, yeah, this is making sure that you understand that your personal relationship with money and the way that you think about it, the way that you perceive it. Is it a negative thing, a negative thing to you or is it a positive thing? Um, are you someone who thinks negative thoughts when it comes to finances or is it more positive? And that will let you know if you have a good personal relationship with finances. And this is making sure that, again, you guys are saving, understanding that spending, spending, spending doesn't make us happier. It doesn't make us more content. It doesn't make us look better. None of that. Real financial security is making your money work for itself. OK, but that's a whole nother spiel. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you took something from this video. If you did, subscribe, like the video. If you want a personal, check out the description box and I will see you in the next one.